Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with a video tutorial for the new Boston. In this video, we're going to look at some manipulation of elements and we're going to be looking in particular with the append function. Now, we're going to go ahead first of all and we're simply going to create um, a small script that's going to append an, uh, a particular um, string of text or HTML uh, string to um, a particular element. So let's go ahead and create a paragraph and give this an ID. I'm going to call this area. And then up here I'm going to create a button, so an input type button, with the value append. And we'll give this an ID as well so we can reference it when we catch the event. Uh, I'm just going to call this a button. Okay, so essentially what we want to happen is when we click on this button, we want to append something to this area. Now this is obviously different to the HTML and the text functionality in jQuery, where we actually append as opposed to replace the contents. Now, uh, towards the end of the tutorial, we're going to take a look at appending to several different elements at once as well. So this is just appending to this one element, P, uh, this paragraph tag, which is called area. So before we do anything else, let's go ahead and create a new file, which is going to be our JavaScript file. I'm going to call this append.js. I'm then going to go ahead and include it into my page. So by typing out our script tags. And this is text forward slash JavaScript. And we obviously need to include the source, which is js forward slash append.js. So everything's now set up and we can go over to append.js and start to work on this. Now the main thing that we want to do is catch the click of this button using an event handler and then append something to this paragraph, the contents of this paragraph in here. So let's go ahead and first of all set up the event handler. We're going to say button, we're referencing with a hash because that's the ID of this button. And then we're going to say dot click. Inside of here we need to create a function. And then we come down and inside here we can start to append. So every time we click on this button we want to append some text to this paragraph or the contents of this paragraph. So we reference the paragraph as area and we just simply use dot append and then in here we can type in something we want to append. So I'm going to choose um, just one and then a space afterwards. So every time we click this button, this action will be performed and it will append a one and a space onto the end. So now that we're in our browser, let's just go and refresh the page. Now when I click append, you can see that one has appeared inside of this paragraph. Now when I click it again, you can see that the same thing happens and we have another one and we can just keep doing this and it will keep appending this value to this paragraph. Now what we can also do is we can reference this um, and actually generally add to um, an element. So for example if I was to get rid of this P here and I was to create two or three of these down the page uh, we could say perhaps give them the class of para. Just go ahead and copy that down there and we'll give this class a different name, so we'll call it last. So these are the first two paragraphs and this is the last one. What we can then do inside append.js is change this accordingly so we um, reference a class instead of the ID of the element. So I'm just going to choose para. Now what's going to happen is we're going to append a one onto this paragraph and this paragraph, however not this last paragraph. So let's just take a look. So I'm going to click append and you can see that we've got the first paragraph here, the second paragraph here and the last paragraph which is called last. These two have been called to append this value and therefore they both have the values appended each time we press the button. Okay, so now that we've completed this example, let's take a look at a slightly more interactive, um, probably not useful, but an interactive example. The first thing I'm going to do is create an input field and this is going to be type text. I'm going to give this an ID of name. I'm then going to create a button next to it and this is going to be called, uh, well this is a type button and the value of this is just, uh, let's say submit. Okay so inside here I want to create an ID attribute and I'm going to call this button. 
and now what we want to happen is we want um, a sentence to be appended to. So for example, in this paragraph here, which I'm going to call sentence, I'm going to say your name is, and I'm going to leave this part blank. Now what we can actually do is because there's already text inside of this paragraph, when we use append, we're just going to append a name onto the end of here. So whatever the user types in here, and then when they click the button, it will append it onto the end. So we've left a space just in here. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, change this around. So we've got button.click, we have the same event handler present. We now just need to get rid of this. We're going to create a new variable called name, and we're going to make this equal to the value of our text field here, which is called name. So hash name dot val. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to append this name onto the end of this sentence. So let's go ahead and reference the sentence div uh, or paragraph, sorry, and then we want to say append name. Okay, so now let's return to our browser. Uh, when I go ahead and type my name in here and click submit, you can see that that's appended on to the end of that string. So it's extremely uh, useful in this in with regard to if you wanted to build up data on a particular line, um, if you wanted your user to build up specific data. One example I can think of is if you were to create a calculator and you wanted a string of text to show the operation that uh, is currently in progress. So for example, if you, there was a button on the page saying two and a button saying three, and a plus symbol, you could say two plus three, and you might want to just build up a string of the operation that the user is carrying out. There's uh, ex there's loads of cases that you'll probably come across uh, to actually use the append um, functionality in jQuery. Uh, however, this is just a basic example to get you started.